Let us at this point do a recap of the historical foundations of education. This is the first part of the historical foundations. Another part will follow later. But in this first part, we started with pre-literate societies and what happened with learning and teaching then. Then we looked at a number of ancient civilizations, China, India, Greece, Rome, and we saw their impacts on education and how education changed from one civilization to the next. Then we saw the early Muslim influence in terms of the Turkish contribution to Islamic education and secular education, both in the 16th and in the 18th centuries. We then saw as Europe developed through the Renaissance period and the industrialization age and in the Reformation, how changes in education came about and how those changes in education then influence what happens in education today. A lot of the work of theorists of those periods still exist in our education today. So we have to learn from the past, take what we need, modify and change what needs to be modified and changed, because obviously we cannot teach something that's 400 years old. It just wouldn't work. Then we looked at the Muslim influence of education in the subcontinent over the Muslim rule of eight dynasties that spread over 650 years. So up to this point, what we've done is we've seen the world contribution and we've seen the Muslim contribution to education. We see a lot of similarities. We see a lot of things that are parallel between the two. But the one thing that stands out in the Islamic education is that it focused both on religious education and secular education. We also took a look at 20th century education developments in Europe and America and those influences on education today. What we will now do from the next session on is look at the historical foundations from a Pakistan perspective. We will look at the his history of education in Pakistan since 1947 to 2014. And that will be the second part of the historical foundations. And we will then be able to compare where we are today, where we should have been today, and how do we get to where we want to get with education in Pakistan.